Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ichibi. Today we'll be covering the new Red Magic 6S Pro powered by a Snapdragon 888 Plus with 165 hz display, along with exactly what the WhatsApp moderators can see when you report a message. Let's get right into the news! Investigative journalism organization ProPublica just released a report about how much WhatsApp moderators can see and what they do with that information. WhatsApp still has end-to-end -end encryption, but moderators can see the last five messages in a thread if content has been reported. They also see users' phone numbers, profile photos, status messages, and IP addresses. They're also not afraid of submitting metadata to law enforcement, as recently they submitted proof that a government official was talking to a reporter at BuzzFeed ultimately resulting in a six-month prison sentence. So, can WhatsApp actually read your messages? Only if they've been reported, but they do have the ability to scan through unencrypted data like unique mobile phone IDs, IP addresses, device names, or Facebook accounts if they want. According to mobile data analytics company App Annie, TikTok has overtaken YouTube in average watch time in the US. This data only reflects Android phones though, so the company doesn't know how the app performs in other platforms. As of June 2021, American TikTok users are watching 24 hours of content per month on average, while YouTube users are watching 22 hours and 40 minutes per month. Also in that month, people in the UK were watching a whopping 25 hours of TikToks a month, while only watching 15 hours on YouTube. When it comes to overall time spent on the app, YouTube still reigns supreme, which makes sense because they have an overall user base of 2 billion compared to TikTok's 700 million. Nubia's Red Magic lineup of gaming smartphones has always been a good option for those looking for a powerful smartphone with solid specs. The latest from them is no different, the Red Magic 6S Pro. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Plus SoC under the hood, which is the most powerful SoC available around right now. This gets mated up to 16 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM and up to 256 gigs of UFS 3.1 storage. Keeping the temperatures in check is a built-in RGB turbo fan and a vapor chamber cooling system. It's also got a fairly decent screen with a 6.8 inch full HD plus AMOLED display capable of 165 Hz refresh rate, the highest refresh rate on a smartphone right now. Nubia has fitted it with a touch sampling rate of 720 Hz too for a response time just shy of eight milliseconds. Camera wise, you get a triple camera setup on the rear with a main 64 megapixel shooter flanked with an eight megapixel ultra wide camera and a two megapixel macro lens. Meanwhile, there's an eight megapixel selfie camera on the front You'll also be glad to find a decently sized 5050 milliamp hour battery with 66 watt fast charging. Oh yeah, it has 5G support too. According to Nubia, the Red Magic 6S Pro will be available from the 27th of September onwards. However, there's no word just yet as to whether or not it will come to Malaysia. There's no local pricing yet, but the 12 gigabyte RAM version goes for about 599 USD, which is about 2490 RM. The 16GB RAM version goes for about 699 USD, which is about 2,906 RM. And the Pro Transparent version goes for about 729 USD, which is about 3,031 RM. The Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G is coming to Malaysia very soon, with stocks expected to arrive sometime next week. Essentially, this is a refresh of the current Galaxy A52 5G, which runs on a newer Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G 5G SoC. The Galaxy A52s 5G with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, is going for 1,899 ringgit, which is the same price as the current Galaxy A52 5G. They're currently offering pre-orders for the device, which comes bundled with a free back cover. Besides the processor swap from the Snapdragon 750G to the 778G, the rest of the hardware remains unchanged. It still gets a 6.5-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display that pushes a high refresh rate of 120Hz. In the camera department, the A52s 5G features a quad camera setup in the rear, which consists of a 64 megapixel main camera with OIS, a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle shooter, and two 5 megapixel cameras for depth and macro effects. For selfies, the device has a 32 megapixel front camera that sits in a center aligned punch hole. Powering the device is a large 4,500 milliamp hour battery that supports 25 watt fast charging. According to the pre-order page, the device is offered in awesome white and awesome black. All right, that's it for the news today. If you liked the video, just give it a like, subscribe to Soy Chin Chow, follow our TikTok, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.